there. I am Bonnie McCaffrey, and thank you so much for coming back to see what I have in store for you this month. I have Mickey Dupre. Dupre. Dupre, yes, and she lives in Illinois, and she has a really neat technique for doing applique. Mm -hmm. What is this technique? It uses a product called Pellen Decorbon, um, which basically began its life in the home deck uh, field. It's the most common use is it is the inside of decorator pillows and what's what makes them nice and crisp when you purchase ah, them. I stumbled stumbled across it um, when I was teaching myself to machine applique. You know how they say those happy accidents yeah. happen. And um, I've been using it ever since. So it's been about eight, almost nine years now that I've been ah. using it. It has. Um, great qualities that I just want to share with everyone is yeah true. so so what are why is this so good to use well the one of the qualities that I think catches everyone's attention first is by the nature of the material it goes behind everything and as you're using it um, it softens up so first I'd like to say that all my quilts do remain soft and you can utilize it. I do have some students that use it in more traditional quilts. They put it behind traditional quilts after they're done piecing because um, one of the things it does is it gives you the um, permission to not have to baste your quilt. Because not have to baste the not quilt. Baste oh, I quilt. like that. Um, as you're working with it, the fibers on the one, it only has adhesive on one side, so right. it is technically not fusing, it's just stabilizing. Okay, it's um, a stabilizer. You, and um, the fibers on the non-adhesive side kind of break free and create a Velcro-like material that just grabs your batting. And ah. so you do have to do some smoothing and a little, maybe yeah. a little more ironing. But yeah. I will do that any day over basting. Oh, you betcha! That so. basting, who wants to do it? <laughs> yep. So, and I, I have quilted, quilts as large as eighty by ninety, and not had to baste. So these are small examples here, but yes. Now, okay. Can you imagine this? You've got a big quilt. Do you know how long it's going to take you if you have to thread baste that baby? Yeah. This is so. a neat thing. I do want, like to say though, you do have to machine quilt if you use it. Okay, because right. Because it, it it's does. It's a little thicker. I'm yeah. not sure I'd want to hand quilt through yeah. that. That would not be a pleasant experience. True. So, but um, another nice quality is that all those machine stitches that you put in then for um, quilting, uh -huh. they t they stay on top of the fabric or on right. top of the quilt, right. so that you don't lose them, and they they're there for everyone to see. So l let me ask you this: So you have your top layer, and then you have the decker bond, and then you have batting. You also Correct. put batting in. Oh, it's not yes. in place of the batting. You want to use a batting that has um, either a cotton or wool base. That oh, so it will grasp. Right. It. I've tried it with um, the silk battings, and it, it just doesn't work yeah, because it doesn't yeah. have that grasp. Yeah. Um, but yes, so you do use a batting very low loft, something that's you know a, a thinner batting. Yeah. So. So how do you use it in your applique? Okay. Well, um, this is one of the samples that I show, and you would basically you have to stitch down your applique, and you can again because it's a stabilizer it opens up the possibility of using some of those fancy stitches oh, the straight yeah. line embroidery stitches that we all have on our sewing machines and there's oh. another all of these beautiful stitches wow right. so you're able to use those for your applique as long as it gives some coverage to that edge right um, and then you would just go about appliquing as you would normally do for machine and you do have to cut away from behind right? in order to remove some of the bulk. That being said, we could break that rule also and not cut away some layers, and then it gives almost a faux trapunto oh, right, kind right, of right. look. So do you back your pieces with this yes. decor bond? Yes. The decor bond goes behind every piece uh -huh. so that the entire quilt top is stabilized. So nothing warps out of shape either. Yeah. After you're done quilting, I rarely have to square my quilts up more than a quarter of an inch. I think you're going to change how we quilt <laughs> in this world and do our applique. Another thing that it does is it for beading, and those of us who are into beading. <laughs> oh, yes. there's a few of us. <laughs> yes. Well, when the bead store moves in two blocks from your house. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes. Um, 
it does the same thing for beading that it does for um, machine quilting in that it keeps those beads on top of the quilt so that you get to enjoy all of that work. Yeah. It doesn't sink into the quilt. Yeah. Oh, so. that, that's a really neat thing with that. Yeah. So this was the quilt that I first started with the beading technique and, and played around with it. So this is called Autumnal Jewel. Oh, I love that. So, And your your stitching is fantastic. What kind of machine do you use? Um, these quilts were done on a, a Bernina. Bernina, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bernina is a great machine. Yes, they yeah, are. That is. They are. And you do have a wonderful book on uh, this technique, and yes. there's some patterns. There's um, a dozen patterns in here, Whoa. and it does have step-by-step um, -step of using the decor bond. Yeah. Here we go. Showing everything that we talked about here and more. Yeah. And so it will walk you through, and then, of course, it's also in my workshops. That's basically what I'm showing people how to use it in their work. Yeah. So tell me about, let's pull that quilt up front here. This is actually one of the quilts from the book. Um, I have a, a series of work um, that have these, as we affectionately call them, the little fat bottom birds. Little in fat our, bottom birds? Oh, yeah. they're so cute. And so this quilt is called Shoveled. Shoveled? Yes. Why? Because he's, he's on a shovel. <laughs> that you've left out in the garden. Um, so this is one of the patterns that's in the book. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. And the, you're right. The machine quilting just shows, shows just beautifully on It floats on top. Yeah. So. Oh, this is a fun piece. Well, <laughs> this quilt celebrates my husband um, for a momentous birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Purchased me a Jeep to celebrate that birthday because he knew that I always wanted one. Oh. And so I made this quilt to celebrate how happy I was. Oh. And so um, this quilt is called Jeepin' with Jim and Joan's daughter. <laughs> is that so, your parents, Jim and Joan? Yes, that's my parents, yeah. Jim and Joan. Oh, and I love so, you've got this map fabric yeah, in here. These maps are um, just the, the uh, product, and our product that Pellin puts out that you go ahead and scan in. You could do it with photography. Um, I scanned in some maps, just printed it out, and made my own fabric. Oh, so they have a printable fabric. Yes, they do. Oh, I didn't know And that. they have a printable fabric that runs everything from um, organza weight all the way up to, and I, I apologize, I don't know exactly what they're calling it, but it has the look of an Ada cloth from Cross Stitch. Wow. Yes. Oh, well, we'll have to look for that. That yes. sounds like a neat fabric, too. And the back of this quilt is kind of neat. Go ahead and flip that. It just shows all the places that I visited that year then in my Jeep. Oh, so. What a good husband. <laughs> yeah, he's a, a keeper. <laughs> oh, oh, tell, us, tell oh, me about this quilt. This quilt um, is a series of work I did. Uh, for those of you who may be familiar with some of my work, you'll know that I do a lot of coffee cup quilts. And then I had some quilts that celebrated the olive and um, then the martinis. The and then they all got together and started to play together. So they made their own series called Liquid Vices. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, so the this, olive and yes. the martini. And Aww. actually, this quilt is a, um, a favorite um, because my husband helped pick out all the colors wow. for this quilt. So, And it reflects both of us um, enjoy Art Deco. So yeah. you see a lot of yeah. Art Deco influence in my quilts. Oh, that is great. And what a nice thing that he shared that with you. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, well, and you do travel and treat, teach all over? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, it keeps us in trouble, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On the road again. Yeah, I we need the maps. <laughs> yes. I love to fly, so, yeah. yes, so it, it satisfies that wanderlust. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me throw you a question that you haven't really thought about. Okay. And you can think about it a little, little if you need to. What's your philosophy of life? Um... I, you know, ironically, this just came up a little bit in conversations at home, and uh, my husband and I, since we've been a couple for a great many years, um, we were high school sweethearts, we have adopted a philosophy that we just kind of pay it forward, that whole pay it forward, and just, you know, there's good in everyone and everything, and it eventually just trickles back to you somewhere and somehow. I have goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I really believe that philosophy also. Okay. You, you, uh, you know, yeah. you, you get what you give, and actually if you give first, and you know, you don't get it back from who you give it to. No. It comes back it to It comes you somewhere life. along. Yeah, and, I've, and so yeah. many things in my life have come that way. Yeah. That, yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Mickey, thank you so much for doing this with me. I think I have a new appreciation for this great product, which is Decor Bond. I want to mm -hmm. use that. And uh, 
it looks like a great way to do this. Well, thank you for inviting me. I certainly enjoyed it. Thank you. And thank you all for coming back to see what I have. And I hope you'll come back next month and see what I have for you then. Thanks for being with me. Mm -hmm.